Debris following. Blasters and flame projectors. All right. Keep them at a distance. Sir, enemies in pursuit. More expected. Bit of a nightmare, but we'll hold them off. What happened to the Admiral? Admiral Davos and his horde should be down that corridor somewhere. Quite possibly with his escort. Eleven, twelve more. Marauders and Scourge. Saganu is holding our escape route outside. We'll keep the pirates off your back. Do what you came to do. Admiral, intruder! Target him, but do not fire. The Cypher agent lives. I wondered what became of you. You've caused a lot of trouble for a man I didn't come here to kill. I waited years to return to Hoth and reclaim my retirement funds. My superiors were never to know. We should take him now. Silence! You complicated matters, forced us to part ways with the Empire. But this can be mended. Tell me what you desire. No bribes, Admiral. All I want is your surrender. A man of principles. How admirable. Kill him. Take it slow. Codename Leggett to Hunter. I have located the Starbreeze. I owe command 10 credits. You look awful, by the way. Get that shuttle running and rendezvous at these coordinates. Hunter, out. Sir, pirates are down, but I'm the only one left. We need to get moving. Come on, let's get this ship off the ground. I'll do what I can. I don't think flying that thing will be easy. Nice landing. Let's take a look. Solid body, not a scratch on her. And she came with my shuttle? What's her name? Ensign Raina Temple, sir. Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. Of course. Minder 17, Imperial Intelligence. Excellent work, both of you. I couldn't have done any of this without her. I praise. Maybe she deserves a promotion. I'll fly the shuttle to its final destination. You can take my ride home. Ensign, why don't you and Vector run a systems check? I need a minute with the agent. I'll chisel the ice off the pilot seat for you. Arden Koth will be happy. But the girl, we agree she needs to die, right? That's unnecessary. She knows better than to reveal classified intelligence. Maybe I like to be careful. Look. You've worked with her. You've bonded with her. Fine. I'm not heartless. Maybe she'll even be useful. You want her to live? 
You take responsibility. Stash her on your ship. She doesn't talk to anyone, doesn't learn about the SIS. I guarantee she won't be a problem. Just to be sure, though, I'm putting a command in your brain. Keyword, onomatophobia. If Raina Temple becomes a threat to our mission or leaves your supervision, you will kill her. You won't have a choice. Sir, Minder 17 told me about the transfer. I'm... a little surprised. If Intelligence wants me out of the GIST Defense Force, though, I won't argue. Nice as it would have been to pack an overnight bag. I know it's sudden. You'll have to manage as best you can. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic opportunity. My father would love this. But if I can ask, why do you want me here? You're versatile, capable, and young enough to learn. You could be a brilliant operative. Really? Well, maybe it's time for a career change after all. Ensign, we're delighted that you're joining us. Don't let the dangers put you off. That's very kind, Master Hillis. Just Vector. We'll let you two get acquainted and meet you back on the ship. Take care of her. At your service, sir. Travel route is confirmed.
Hello, Kalia. What's going on? Hey. So I've been thinking, with all the stuff I've told you about my past, we ever talk about the Brental anarchists? You've mentioned their existence and that you worked with them. No details. Then here's a morsel for you. We were the Revolutionary Edge Brigade. So was probably me and a dozen other guys. We blew up hollow relays, robbed banks, kidnapped politicos and corporate honchos. Did a lot of damage. You never struck me as especially political. Why'd you join the anarchists? Kind of an accident. I started with the local gangs. Someone saw my potential. I wasn't really in it for the philosophy. Even so, there's times I look at who we work for now and... Well, I never thought I'd end up helping a bunch of dictators, you know? Dreams can be very different from reality. Hey, you've probably got it worse than me. Thing is, I'm actually pretty content. I've got money, company's decent, even your squad's growing on me. Hypocrisy is a funny thing. See you around, Agent. I hope I'm not prying. I overheard a bit of your conversation and couldn't help but wonder, have you noticed anything unusual about Kaleo's behavior lately? Less griping, more cheer. Other than that, no. Interesting. I hadn't spotted that. However, I've noticed some encoded messages broadcast to and from the ship. Kaleo has access to the relay, and I'm trying to assess all possibilities. Let me know if anything happens, or if you find out more about those transmissions. Of course. I always enjoy a puzzle. Agent, we've had time to think since reuniting the Killick colony. Not that our work hasn't kept us busy, but... We didn't actually thank you for allowing our pilgrimage. You should come with us next time. No need to thank me. You ever need support, just say the word. We'll try not to make you regret that offer. In any case, we should get back to work. We promised Kalia we'd keep the hatchlings away from her quarters, which means some training is in order. Kalia hasn't said much about you. Everything going all right? After some early missteps, we're learning to tolerate one another. We no longer invite her to the Jarek games. She no longer spits in our tea. Give us a few months. We've negotiated with worse. This is Leggett to Base Command. Mission complete. Base Command here. Hunter gave me his report. He spoke highly of you. Not a lot of people earn his praise. How did he come to join the SIS? He used to do corporate security, if you can believe it. Recruited him a few years back. I'm grateful the Starbreeze is in one piece. She'll help us win this war. Now, Hoffman Terrace makes two. Ready for the final stage? You still haven't told me what this is about. You send me after a Republic shuttle and a science project. All for good reason, I promise. Maybe you've heard of it. A death trap of a planet called Quesh. Our primary objective's there. I want you en route. Chemical mining world, we're at war over it. That's the one. But we're after something from before all that. Get to these coordinates when you arrive and we'll be in touch. Base command out. Agent, I hope this recorded message finds you well. This is Aristocrat Saganu of the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. I never got the chance to see you off Hoff. Understandable, things were hectic. Nonetheless, you proved a worthy ally. 
and one deserving of the Ascendancy's trust. A token of our appreciation has been delivered to Imperial Intelligence. I hope they will pass it on to you. And lastly, give my regards to Ensign Temple. Doubtless she serves you as well as she served us. Look, I'm sorry to dump this on you, but you're gonna need to live without me for a little while. It'll be quick, but I need time off to wrap up some personal things. If you need to go, I won't keep you. Is there anything I can do? Sweet of you to ask, but no. And I was worried I'd miss your departure. Kaleo, we've had our differences, but I wanted to wish you the best of luck. I'm sure the Wheezer and his revolutionary Edge Brigade will be delighted to have you back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm surprised that you would permit this, though. Letting Kaleo see her old anarchist friends must violate any number of Imperial regulations. Clearly I haven't been filled in. I've traced encoded messages sent from this ship to the leader of the Brental Anarchists. That's... look. It's not what you think. The Weezer got in touch, said he needed help. Didn't say why, but I figure security's cracking down on the cell again. Why didn't you say anything? The Weezer was good to me, so I thought I'd lend a hand. Figured telling you would make trouble, get someone killed. If you don't trust me, come back with me and watch my back. We'll buy him off somehow. Might actually survive that way. All you had to do was ask. Thank you. I'll get in touch with him. One call to set up the meeting. I'll leave you to your work. We're all set. The Weezer will meet us at the Hutta spaceport. Just try to make this go without a fight. I don't need to lose either of you. How are things, Vector? Agent, when we communed with the other nests, we saw a force for change in the galaxy. There are Kilix as large as starships and as small as mites, joiners from a hundred species on a thousand worlds. We mean to report on the Kilix colony to the diplomatic service. The colony's been in hiding for a long time. The Kilix may not appreciate it. We've shared thoughts with Daisana of the Lace Nest, and we've assessed the limits of their cooperation. If the service can make entreaties to the colony, if we make them an ally, We'll have a foothold in the unknown regions. We'd have access to Killick craftsmanship, joiner information. Even without their military support, they would be invaluable. What would an Imperial Killick Alliance take? We've outlined a proposal. The Killicks want peace and resources, and the Empire can offer both. And if the Empire doesn't make allies of the Killicks, someone else may get to them first. However I can assist, say the word. We'd ask you to sign off on the report. Other than that, we'll keep your offer in mind. Thank you. My good friend, allow an old man some sentiment and join me for a reminiscence. Today is the 13th anniversary of the death of Cypher 12, one of the finest agents I've ever worked with. I've never heard of a Cypher 12. They don't mention our predecessors much. Our history is fleeting, to say the least. Cypher 12 was one of the old guard from before the war. He cultivated allies on the fringes. By the time he received his Mandalorian brands, he'd also become verbally abusive in private, but he never cracked on the job. Always had a smile. Were you partners? I was technical advisor on several of his assignments, and we shared a taste in Miriallan cuisine. Eventually the odds caught up with him, and a Hapani royal assassin punctured his lungs. Inevitable, really. Are you aware how few ciphers survive past year five? The odds aren't good for any of us. Quite so. I admire the line you walk between obedience and ingenuity. Unfortunately, your methods breed enemies. Be careful not to end up without recourse. 
There's some truth there, I'll admit. We'll see what happens. Friendly advice from one who knows. I've made it through a very long career by choosing my partners wisely. I've outlasted them all, and I intend to keep doing so. I rather like your ship. Not exactly military, but it'll be nice not sleeping in a thermosuit. Once we're underway, you'll bring me up to speed on my duties, sir. Show me the tricks of undercover work. You're embarking on a new career. No nostalgia for your old life? None, sir. If I'm here, I intend to commit myself. I probably ought not to bring this up, but there is the matter of my talents. If I'm operating in the Empire, there's the chance the Sith will find out what I can do. They wouldn't be pleased. If your talents become an issue, we'll deal with them. Understood, sir. In the meantime, I intend to make myself irreplaceable. Anything, Master? A hot meal, perhaps? Conversation? A foot massage? Just say the word. <laughs> 